Hi everyone, I'm Serene and this is Sophia. Our focus is on enabling students' voices in Singapore's preschools. We took a pragmatic approach which involves a process of reflection based on our working experiences as preschool teachers in Singapore. We started with the situation where most preschool teachers in Singapore are still using didactic teaching methods and the main factor comes from the circumstance that preschool teachers in Singapore have little or no opportunity for adopting child-initiated learning. Based on this, we came up with two research questions. What are the challenges that preschool teachers in Singapore face in enabling student voices? And how can we enable student voices in Singapore preschools? This led us to reflect on our past experiences before coming up with the following conclusion as would be reviewed in this presentation. The main challenge faced with enabling student voices stems from the lack of teacher empowerment and hence adoption of child-led practices. The organisational culture in preschools is one that is individualistic, where teachers are encouraged to focus on their own job duties. Hence, there are little opportunities and time for the engagement in sharing of effective teaching practices as well as support for the initiatives. As teachers stick to their existing teaching practices, which are predominantly teacher-led, they have low efficacy in conducting child-led learning. Teachers are also limited in autonomy when it comes to the choosing of professional development. Although teachers do get to choose the courses they're interested in, the final decision lays with the principal who will decide based on the organization's needs. This causes barriers in teachers' learning and adoption of new practices and ideas that enable student voices. From our personal experiences and observations, preschool, preschool teachers in Singapore are often limited by internal standardization by the organization, especially when it comes to basic teaching functions such as planning and implementing classroom activities as well as the setting up of the classroom environment. This leaves teachers to be undervalued and feel underappreciated whenever they seek a new way of incorporating student voices in their daily teaching practices. At the same time, many teachers in Singapore have a hierarchical mindset in which many teachers felt that they aren't given the chance to voice their ideas and they are not being listened to as one's capacity to initiate changes is based on the employment status. This gives limited power for teachers to change the students' experiences, which involves designing lessons that prioritize student voice and participation. Thus, teachers come to feel disempowered. These challenges are interrelated and disempowerment is at the root of all these challenges. Thus, it is a necessary step to empower the teachers and to make educational change for their students. Based on the challenges, we came to derive four key components of teacher empowerment to be enforced at the school level. Through encouraging non-positional leadership, teachers can be enabled. Non-positional le leadership is not about a formal po leadership position, rather it harnesses the strengths of individuals within a team to help the, the collective group succeed. It enables teachers to feel comfortable in initiating changes such as child-led learning. Teachers can also be empowered through the engagement in so professional development or their own learning. Knowledge and expertise put teachers in a better position to create the changes they wish to see. Hence, by enabling teachers' agency in the sourcing for professional development or their own learning, teachers are better able to develop different ways of incorporating child-initiated learning in their daily practices. They can also be empowered through collaborating with their colleagues. Through collaboration, teachers encourage and support each other as they reflect and learn together to improve their teaching practices. Such collaborative practices can also affirm and influence the adoption of child-centered practices. By encouraging innovation and creativity, it allows teachers to be empowered in creating changes in their lesson delivery techniques and strategies. Doing so enables teachers to explore new possibilities and engage children in active learning methods. All these components work together to support a more empowered way of working. This diagram emphasizes four key, four significant interrelationships between them. The first being highlighted is the implementation of non-positional leadership, forcing teachers as agents of creativity, innovation, as well as change in the classroom as they are being built upon by collaborative practice. By letting teachers take charge of their own professional development, shapes how they go about doing their teaching, and this would have positive implications on the experiences of students in account of how teachers can generate empowering learning environment for the students. These are the references. To conclude, through encouraging non-positional leadership, innovation, professional development and collaboration, teachers can be empowered to enable children voices in daily school life. Do email us if you have any questions or feedback. Thank you.